Let's talk about ambition. The seductive quality of ambition. Sitting in a group of women, I asked, what is the most attractive thing about a man? 95% of the women said, ambition, passion. Then I asked, why so? And they said, because you need self-confidence to achieve anything and the drive to sustain any passion. And that is so attractive. That made me wonder about another thing. Do men feel the same? I doubt it. Guys almost never mention it. And if they do, it's always a a kind of side thing, like whatever. What's the logic in this? Now, if we look at it historically, women evolved to value men who could provide and protect the family. And ambitious men are more likely to be better providers and protectors. Conversely, men evolve to value women who are fertile. And that means young and beautiful. And being ambitious doesn't make a woman more fertile. In fact, ambitious women are more likely to delay childbirth to focus on their careers. And isn't that what we see in our world today? So looking at our evolutionary history, one can learn how societies developed from hunter-gatherers where survival and sustenance of the group was important and those that contributed most to the sustenance of the tribe got the most resources. So to prove oneself capable of achieving more than others developed into ambition. In this podcast today, I want to understand the nature of ambition somewhat differently. I think most times it is misunderstood in our world. It mostly has to do with money and material possessions most time. To put it bluntly, we usually describe it as a desire to grow rich and to be fiercely competitive. But somewhere inside of us, don't we all want a bit of the same? I mean, isn't ambition an inherent quality in human nature, in all of us? In a broader, positive sense, it's about doing what has been considered impossible, impractical, even unorthodox. So ambition is about going after the improbable most times. At least that's how we've described it to ourselves. That's very laudable indeed. But when ambition becomes extravagant and keeps looking for more endlessly, It can become a delusion, as a need to stand out constantly. The primitive part of us needed this. We needed this to stay relevant or we would just fade out. But that was then. Today, it's this fear that becomes the convoluted nature of ambition. A fear that we will lose out or we will fade out. I think when preference shifts from results to reward, like what's in it for me, you can become unrealistic. And what happens is that people around you can sense that. You risk losing their trust then. And when this desire for ambition becomes insatiable, you have to. You just have to achieve the rewards. The desire then, instead of satisfying, becomes enlarged and can backfire even before the goal is reached. So, as we have in all these years, with a lot of pride, taken control of the world we live in. And it's also important that we take charge of the weaknesses that we have created in this system. The intense pressure to perform The new medical conditions that have cropped up, new diseases due to stress, exhaustion, burnout, the constant life of overdrive. We can stop. We can step back. We can look again. I read a quote that said, while for the thinking mind, 
the purpose of life becomes an ambition. Ambition becomes the purpose of life for the programmed mind. I'm going to say this again because it's really important. While for the thinking mind, the purpose of life becomes an ambition. Though ambition becomes the purpose of life for the programmed mind, which means that like in adolescence, it's important to be on top of the game. Like the guy with the most toys wins kind of thing. The guy who is always riding high for whom nothing is enough. More and more is the name of the game. So ambition is the purpose of life at that stage. Yet as we grow older, hopefully we can see the endless nature of this pit of consumption and begin to question and seek our definition of ambition and realize that the purpose of life can become an ambition in itself. It can. Getting on the treadmill is healthy, of course. Staying on it constantly can have very negative effects. So I'm going to say that again one more time. While for the thinking mind, the purpose of life becomes an ambition. Though ambition becomes the purpose of life for the programmed mind. Reflect on this for a while. And see you soon next time again. That was this week's episode for the Cellular Alchemist podcast with spiritual psychologist Ritu Malhotra. Don't forget to follow the podcast on your listening app so that when the new episode drops, you do not miss out on the chance change your life by changing your beliefs.